Hey guys, it's Chris Norlin here. I'm here to expand your mind and teach you about finance. Please calm down because I know I'm a very exciting guy. Woo! Welcome back to Strong Man Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long-term bogglehead investor. I'm author of the book Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And it seems like recently everybody's attacking Strong Man Personal Finance. I wonder why. Hmm. So there's this guy named Chris Norland, right? And he's got a YouTube channel. And I've I've watched a couple of his videos, and they're th He's, he doesn't have the worst grifty channel in the world. Basically, he does a mix of things. Like, he goes and he has dinner with his wife or whatever, and then he'll he'll talk about general things in the market, and then he'll talk about some individual stocks. You know, like, oh, I, I picked some good stocks like Lockheed Martin. Buy an index, funny freaking clown. And all sorts of stuff. So, he doesn't have the worst channel in the world. One thing I didn't like about his channel was, you know, he claims he's like this, like, professor that's, you know, he's, he's going to expand your mind, and he doesn't like scammers. And then he talks about the freaking Redbox squeeze. Why are you talking about Redbox? It's a clown stock. You know, probably after you talked about that, people that listen to you probably lost hundreds or thousands of dollars speculating on worthless trash. And I freaking hammered Redbox. But you know, I'm just a terrible guy. Anyway, we got to react to this video and then we're going to look into Chris Norland's dirty past. <laughs> Finance YouTube clown show. Everything money plus meet Kevin plus financial Jeremy. Little tip for the algorithm, you should put financial education, Jeremy. Okay, buddy, let's watch. Discussion with you guys about sort of the state of finance YouTube and be perfectly frank, a bunch of these people are clowns. Um, I, I don't make a ton of these videos. Um, I, and believe me, I get it. Uh, it gets a ton of clicks if I just, you know, make video after video calling other people clowns. Um, this That's true. I wonder who started that. The other one, though, I, I, I just feel like making because um, I've been really disappointed with everything money. And, and um, I'll show you to share my screen here. Uh, this guy pumped red box. Don't ever freaking forget that. All right. So he starts talking about everything money. And then apparently this guy was so fast in getting the uh, work because Kevin came on my channel last night. He was so fast. As soon as he saw it, he's like, oh, I can make a video about this and, uh, you know, kind of dump on strong man a little bit. So let's go ahead and watch his reaction to strong man personal finance. Who knows what Jeremy guy's doing? I, I don't know. Um, and then I, I noticed this too. Someone else pointed out to me, it's, and I do appreciate when, when um, uh, either members or, or, or people watch the channel point things out to me. Just check, I check out things briefly. But this meet Kevin guy is now hanging out with these other finance YouTube people. When I guess they're doing a shirtless party. Uh, this was just a little bit earlier today, and it just we're, we're very close, man makes me realize like most of these people are clowns I, I don't see the funny thing is chris i'm the guy that screams like a pig i'm obnoxious i do the most ridiculous stuff i talk the biggest trash on youtube but who's the guy that gives the best financial advice at the end of the day is it kevin is it jeremy is it you piss borland it's me that's why my channel's so good because i can act like a clown because I don't fear anything, and I still give the best advice out there. Max your tax advantage accounts in my total world stock market index funds. This guy calls me a clown, right? Let's go compare his credentials in the stock market and investing in the finance sphere and my credentials, okay? So you can always go on LinkedIn, and you can always find these people and see what they're all about. Now, is this guy a scammer? No, I don't think he's a scammer. Do I think he knows much about stocks? Hell no, he doesn't know anything about stocks. Okay, this is Chris. Oh, he's on right now. He's like, oh, Strong Man's watching my, uh, <laughs> he's on my LinkedIn right now. His job is a YouTube personality. What did I say about that? That's, that's a little sketchy right there, unless he's like independently wealthy. Okay, he's a director, producer, and writer. Ruva Film. Military writing program. Film and TV professor. Advertising professor. Where's this, where's the finance and stock knowledge, man? I mean, I'm not saying I'm a financial analyst, analy analyst, <laughs> oh, I can raise the dead. I'm not a financial analyst, but you, damn right I'm qualified to read financial statements. I'm a certified public accountant, clown. 
This guy calls me a clown. What is his finance background? He doesn't know Jack. Look at his past. He knows nothing whatsoever. I mean, he's not a scammer, but holy freaking crap, man. Don't pretend like you're the stock guru. You're not, okay? Especially after you pumped Redbox. Oh, I'm gonna, let's trade Redbox. And then it's down like what? 80% since the high? Freaking joke. But, you know, you can go look at my LinkedIn too, Chris. You can react to this. I I'm sure you'll find some terrible things on there. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I, I'm trying to be nice. I, I'm not swearing or anything like that, but it, it, it is clowns. And um, <laughs> evidently, I, I feel like. Go look at his LinkedIn. Who's a real clown? Like much of YouTube is, is sort of that Logan Paul, uh, you know, Kardashian, or who is that? Like, you know, just, just those, that kind of audience. I think that's most of YouTube, to be really frank. Uh, Chris, you're just not funny, man. I, you don't have to be jealous that I'm entertaining and I give good advice. You're not entertaining, not in the slightest, and your advice is so-so. I don't even know, what is your advice? Buy individual stocks that you say are good because you directed a film about, I don't know, fluffing Chewbacca or something? Um, I, 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 you know, hope there's a space out there for people who want intelligent content. I, ho I hope so. Um, I can certainly dumb my content down if I wanted to, but I, I just don't. Um, kind of the... <laughs> yeah, I dumb my content down. Like, I talk about why VT is a good index fund. I talk about individual stocks. I actually look at the financial statements, which I don't think you know how to do. But my content's dumb because I scream and clown around and have fun with my YouTube channel. My content, from the financial standpoint, is far superior to yours. 100%, no doubt in my mind. Everybody knows it. Nobody can deny that, okay? But I like to have fun. And people like me because I'm entertaining. Because I, it's, it's all fun. It's freaking YouTube. I don't take this that seriously. Do I make money from YouTube? Yeah, I do. Do I make decent money? Sure. I guess I make a thousand to two thousand a month, you know, depending on the month or, you know, 7K according to some people who won't be named. But at the end of the day, it's fun. I don't do this just for the money. I actually enjoy making YouTube videos. It's the easiest thing I've ever done. And I love my passion is personal finance. I've been studying this ever since I was 15 years old. I'm a fanatic in personal finance. Ask anybody that actually freaking knows me. It's 100% the truth. And I don't like financial scammers. I used to be a financial advisor. I freaking hate these people. They're scum. The vast majority of people are freaking scum in the finance industry. Scum, scum, scum. But oh, he's exposing me because I like to have fun. I'm pissed for it. What, what value does this channel give? Nothing. The way I, I, I equate uh, life, and this is just talking in terms of, you know, one makes life choices. Um, we can all make money taking our clothes off if you want to. You can go down to whatever, you know, uh, you know, dirty street is in your town or whatever, and you can get paid money to take your clothes off, basically. Um, yes, Chris, I get paid money because I took my shirt off. Well, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the case with some people, but think about it. 96% of my viewers are male. Now, maybe a lot of them have, you know, swing one way. Maybe they do. Oh, crap, my alarm's going off. Anyway, this is when I was supposed to wake up, but my daughter woke me up early. But I don't get freaking paid because I take my shirt off, you clown. Obviously, 96% of my viewers are male. Now, if they were all female, okay, maybe you could have a freaking point. I could show my analytics. It's all freaking dudes. And like I said, maybe some of them swing a certain way, whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm not getting paid because I take my freaking shirt off. I get paid because I'm entertaining, unlike you. I mean, that's essentially what these people are doing, you know, right? For entertainment, you, you can do that. Any, any of us can do this the same way you can take your clothes off and talk about Bitcoin. And <laughs> I don't talk. OK, I talk about Bitcoin. I crap on Bitcoin. You Nobody can say with a straight face that I like cryptocurrency. It's trash. I, I, I don't see the value of this guy's channel. He just talks about some random stocks. I don't, I don't have I've never seen him talk about freaking index funds. He attacks the same people I do, probably because he freaking copied me. Because, uh, people do stuff to get the views, blah, blah, blah. But I'm above that. And then he freaking copies me, 100%. All right, so here he goes talking about Larry Jones. Larry Jones is a scammer. I'm not going to deny that. All right. Let's look at this last little clip. Here. Um, th that's when you know, like, things are starting to get ugly. <laughs> so I was asking my wife, like, what is me, Kevin, doing to hang out with these guys? <laughs> I mean, for real. Like, what, what is this? I mean, or... or... <laughs> 
Man, it's almost like I've had some big accomplishments. I've, I've caught the attention of very large YouTubers with my criticism. Because my criticisms were good on all of these guys. Now, a lot of you are mad because me and me, Kevin, are not haters. We don't hate each other. Okay, maybe Kevin hates me. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I'm going to repeat this a thousand times. The guy had the balls to debate me. I respect that. Is he great at stock picking? No, I think he sucks at stock picking, personally. But the guy had the balls to freaking debate me. I'm not going to have him come on my channel, face me like a man, and then talk dirty behind his back about him. I'm not going to freaking do that, okay? So y'all can get all mad. No! Strong man sold out. All you bussies, if you had me, Kevin, on your channel, you would crap your freaking pants. He would crush you. He's a fantastic debater. So don't sit there on your clownish high horse, probably with a freaking dildo strap to the, the saddle, talking trash about me. Losers. Or you can make the case, what do these guys want to do with Hamilton me, Kevin? I don't know. I just feel like everyone's a clown. I don't know how else to put it. Um, this guy would drop everything to have a live stream with me, Kevin. Um, and uh, I'm not going to take my shirt off. That's not what we do on this channel. <laughs> you got nothing to show, bro. Look at my pecs. <laughs> Maybe we should. Uh, people, people have asked me, like, why don't you do something with Strongman? This is literally why I don't. I don't have any, I don't have any desire to hang out with a bunch of dudes taking their shirts off. It's not something I want to do. <laughs> so... Yes, he's so professional. You're boring! Nobody wants to watch you! I'm gonna overtake- Actually, let's go look at the views. I guarantee you I have more views. I think I already checked this. Let's see. Holy crap. Yeah, I was looking through his old videos, like... Okay, he starts talking about... Oh, look at this! Okay, this is Mr. Uh... This is Mr. Good Guys. AGC Grab Short Squeeze. Yeah, this guy's a great finance channel. You know, he's so educational. Trump SPAC, blah, 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 blah. Now, I haven't watched these channels. I don't know if he's attacking these clown stocks. But holy freaking crap. It just seems like he's talking about a bunch of hype freaking crap. And then, of course, he transitioned to talking about grifters. After somebody, I don't know who it was, started doing it. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't hate this guy. You know, I'm not going to be too vicious to him. But holy freaking crap, man. Oh, you're a clown. Yeah. <laughs> my small little pissant YouTube channel gets more views than his. Imagine that. I wonder why all these guys snu- Okay, I can't even say that name. Some random clown. This guy. Why do you think they're all coming after me? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's it. You can go check out Chris Norland. I mean, he's- I think he's boring as hell. I mean, some of his videos are okay. I guess he has an interesting past. You can go read his website, whatever. But at the end of the day, like, I don't see how this guy can sit here with literally no financial background and say I'm a freaking clown when I actually have legitimate skills in the finance industry. Well, accounting, but you get the point. Anyway, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Cheers!